सुपर चार्ज वॉप चार्ज डैश चार्ज सुपर वूप चार्जिंग अडेप्टिव फास्ट चार्ज यू एस बी पी डी फास्ट चार्ज डूल इंजन फास्ट चार्ज यू गेट दी आइडिया दिस जस्ट अ लॉट ऑफ फास्ट चार्जिंग टेक्नोलॉजी आउट देर बट विच वन इज एक्चुअली द फास्टेस्ट वेल लेट्स फाइंड आउट Hey guys, I am Akshay from bbomb.com and welcome to another episode in our Ultimate Smartphone series. Last year we did an Ultimate Smartphone fast charging battle, but it's been some time since then and companies have come out with new fast charging technologies. So it's time for the Ultimate Fast Charging Battle 2.0. But before we do that, let me tell you that this video has been sponsored by Rhino Shield which offers some great cases for phones like the iPhone 10s, the Pixel 3 and more. I'll talk more about Rhino Shield at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Now then, let's get started. So let's start with the contenders in a fast charging battle. We are using the Galaxy Note 9 with 15 watt adaptive fast charging, the Pixel 3 XL with 18 watt USB power delivery, the OnePlus 60 with OnePlus's 20 watt fast charging previously known as Dash charge, the Poco F1 with its 18 watt quick charge 3.0 charger, the OnePlus 60 McLaren edition with the new 30 watt warp charge. The Mate 20 Pro with Huawei's 40 watt supercharge, the Oppo R17 Pro with Oppo's insane 50 watt super wook charge, and the iPhone XS Max with its 5 watt charger. We'll be testing the phones in three different scenarios: a 0 to 100 charge, a 15 to 100 charge with the screens off, and a 15 to 100 charge with the screens on. Also, we'll be testing the phones with the chargers that come inside the box. So the iPhone XS Max will still be tested with Apple's 5 watt charger because I still don't agree with Apple's strategy of selling fast chargers separately. Anyway, let's get started with the test. With the phones completely discharged, I connected them to their chargers. After that, it was all about waiting, but not for long. In just 14 minutes and 44 seconds, the Oppo R17 Pro reached 50%. That is just insane. I mean at that time the OnePlus 60 was at 25%, the 60 McLaren at 30%, the Mate 20 Pro at 40% and the others were further behind. The iPhone XS Max that was at 8%. Yeah. Anyway, if the R17 Pro hasn't impressed you enough, take a look at this. In just 40 minutes the phone was fully charged. Yeah, Oppo has knocked it out of the park with super wook charging on this phone. I mean, I used to love dash charge, but after seeing this, I'm just stunned. Let's take a moment here to completely comprehend that the Oppo R17 Pro fully charges in just 40 minutes. Well, OnePlus has also improved upon dash charge with its new warp charging tech, but even though it's fast, it's nowhere near the Oppo R17 Pro. The 60 McLaren took 1 hour and 4 minutes to fully charge, which is obviously impressive, but SuperWook has just spoiled me. Anyway, the Mate 20 Pro finished up at 1 hour and 6 minutes, which is definitely impressive considering it has a massive 4200 mAh battery. while the OnePlus 60 finished next at 1 hour and 21 minutes after that the Note 9 and the Poco F1 finished at the same time followed by the Pixel 3 XL i know you're wondering about the iPhone 10s Max that was at 61% after 2 hours and took 3 hours and 38 minutes to fully charge i mean that sucks for a $1000 smartphone doesn't it so the Oppo R17 Pro is obviously in the lead with the Mate 20 Pro and the 60 McLaren following behind Anyway, let's move on to our next test, charging the phones from 15 to 100 percent with the screens off. The Oppo R17 Pro took the lead again and by quite a margin. In just 8 minutes and 49 seconds, the Oppo R17 Pro was at 50 percent. Isn't that just mind-blowingly awesome? 8 minutes to reach 50 percent. I'm really loving this charging speed. Only the Mate 20 Pro was close at 40 percent. The 60 McLaren was at 37%, so yeah, it was pretty close too, but the rest of the phones were farther behind as you can see. I mean, they weren't even at 30%. Anyway, in just 30 minutes, the Oppo R17 Pro was fully charged. Seriously, Super Wook on this phone really impressed me. It's amazing. It's the fastest charging tech I've seen, and it has already spoiled me enough that I'm annoyed with my OnePlus 5's fast charging. The only phone that was even close at this point was the Mate 20 Pro at 87% and the rest of the phones as you can see are just nowhere near. So yeah, the Oppo R17 Pro definitely won by quite a margin. Next up, the Mate 20 Pro reached 100% in 49 minutes, which is also pretty impressive even though it's not as fast as the Oppo R17 Pro. 
However, the Mate 20 Pro is charging a bigger 4200mAh battery, so there's that. Anyway, by 57 minutes, the 60 McLaren was also fully charged. That was followed by the OnePlus 60 regular edition and the Pixel 3 XL. The Note 9 and the Poco F1 had a really interesting battle, but the Note 9 won it by around 5 minutes. As usual, the iPhone XS Max was the slowest and finished charging in 3 hours and 1 minute. Now compare that to Oppo R17 Pro's 30 minutes. I mean, you could charge it 6 times by the time the iPhone finishes once. So the R17 Pro has been decimating the competition in the last two tests, but let's see if some other phone can challenge the R17 Pro this time around. Well, spoiler alert, they could not. Not even close. Well, in 9 minutes, the Oppo R17 Pro was at 50% and as you can see, no phone is matching up to it. And in 32 minutes, the Oppo R17 Pro was done charging. I know it's not surprising anymore, but it's definitely impressive. Talking about the rest of the phones, the Mate 20 Pro was at 70%, the 60 McLaren at 80% and all the other phones were below 70% at this time. Surprisingly, it looks like the Mate 20 Pro charges slower with the screen on because this time around, the OnePlus 60 McLaren was the second phone, finishing up at 56 minutes, with the Mate 20 Pro at 95% at this point. OnePlus's warp charge is definitely pretty consistent with charging speeds, while Huawei's supercharge clearly slowed down with the screen on. I'm not sure why, but that's just how it is, and I tested this multiple times. Anyway, the Mate 20 Pro took 1 hour and 9 minutes to fully charge and at this point, all the phones were getting quite close as you can clearly see here. The Mate 20 Pro was followed by the OnePlus 60 at 1 hour and 17 minutes and the Pixel really slowed down after this since it took 16 more minutes to go from 95% to 100%. Anyway, after this, the Note 9 finished up next, followed by the Poco F1. But the most consistent performer of them all has to be the iPhone XS Max, which took just 3 hours and 2 minutes to fully charge. So all in all, it's clear that Oppo's 50W SuperVOOC charging is the fastest charging technology out there. It's just mind-blowing to be honest. Huawei's 40W SuperCharge and OnePlus's 30W Warp Charge are pretty impressive too, but I'll give the win to the SuperCharge technology simply because the Mate 20 Pro has a much bigger 4200mAh battery as compared to the OnePlus 60 McLaren Edition's 3700mAh battery. Anyway, OnePlus's older dash charge tech is still fast, but as compared to these new fast charging technologies, it just pales a little. The Note 9 with its adaptive fast charging, the Pixel 3 XL with its USB power delivery, and the Poco F1 with Quick Charge 3.0 charge pretty fast too, but they're nowhere near technologies from Oppo and Huawei. Lastly, there's the iPhone XS Max, which charges so slow, it's almost cruel to include it among these much faster charging phones. Now let's talk about the sponsor for this video. Rhino Shield offers a variety of premium cases for almost all premium phones out there. We are showing you the solid suitcase here from Rhino Shield, which looks good, offers a lot of grip, and every Rhino Shield case has military grade protection. Plus, Rhino Shield also makes some pretty cool modular cases. There's the Crash Guard NX bumper cases and the Mod NX cases, which are totally customizable. You can change frame colors, back plates, rim colors, and even button colors. Cool, right? Well, you can check out Rhino Shield cases from the link in the description below, so check them out. Well, that was our ultimate fast charging battle 2.0. So what phones are you guys using and which technology is your favorite? Let us know in the comments down below. Also, give this video a like and share it with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.